but he drives off the road, right? And there are no, we're in some bad neighborhood here in L.A., and I, there are no signs. I couldn't see any signs, any roads. We couldn't look at the map. Yeah, this guy, okay. And this guy goes, there's a sign down there. He reads it. Really? He can't even see the sign. Yeah. And he reads the sign. It's, oh, now I know where we are. We got back right on the freeway. That's cool. It took us a while to figure out this guy was, you know. He hopped up. Oh, God. We went out to meet uh, one of the Monty Python troop. That's cool. And uh, he drove us back to the hotel, and we're all sleeping because it's late at night. He wanted to meet us at 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, let's keep going. So he drove us back to the hotel. So this, yeah. this um, battle station, how familiar are you with the franchise? Uh, I'm not sure. Start Who's, who started with this? Uh, this was, uh, IDOS released it uh, okay. two years ago. Okay. Uh, it was released primarily as a, sh a console strategy game. Okay. Uh, the idea was to combine strategy and action. Uh, by combining real-time strategy gaming with flight gaming with naval warfare gaming. We okay. wanted to recreate large-scale naval battles, give you that kind of intellectual challenge of but strategically also, yeah, commanding the ability fleet, to jump into it, right? And then jump into any of those units. It's, uh, Travis over yes. here was, yeah. was, um, he was flying a, a, a Corsair, right? Yeah, yeah. So you can, you, you, uh, you can fly the course, you can fly the planes, uh, you can be a, a pilot, a captain, a submariner. Okay. Uh, you have about 14,000 feet above sea surface, about four depths below. Mm -hmm. um, and we give you a range of different missions. Sometimes the missions are pure air. Sometimes they're combined fleet. Sometimes they're action heavy. Sometimes they're strategy heavy. Mm -hmm. uh, but the idea is to give you an intellectual, emotional experience. Uh, what we found with most simulations that were naval-based is they were very intellectual, yeah. very much planning, logistics, strategy, recreating actual history. Thinking and back to things like uh, the sub Harpoon. red red uh, red uh, uh, red storm rising yeah. I think, that was done uh, absolutely. years ago by uh, Microprose, I think. Yeah, absolutely. So this is not a Microprose style game. It's, and it's, you'd have to think everything out. You have to figure out how you're going to approach the group and all yeah. that. We give but this a is a world that's going on as we're as as we're. Uh, as we're playing, we might be playing one place else. The war's going on all around us, right? The battle's going all, all around it, all right. around you. Um, now, the first, the, yeah, so you'll have like multiple fronts and you'll command your fleets to go to those multiple objectives, I should say. Then you just move from point to point to point, completing all objectives using the combined fleets that you have. Now, the first game, Battle Stations Midway, was a year and a half of the war. I, I think I remember that. Yeah. This one is uh, a, a big sequel in that it's delivering you the entire war. Uh, it's twice the size of the original, and it delivers you two massive single-player campaigns. One is a U.S. campaign that's historically based, starts you just after Midway and moves you to Okinawa. The other one is a historically possible campaign where you lead the Japanese fleet through the attack of Pearl Harbor to inevitable victory against the U.S. And what we try to do is we try to follow history closely for example, when we show you this one, we can talk about this on the film. Uh, this is the invasion of Port Moresby, which okay. was in their plans, but it didn't happen because we fought them off at the Battle of Coral Sea. Mm -hmm. right? While it was a tie, uh, Japan stopped the invasion, and we went on and fought the Battle of Midway. But what if the U.S. lost the Battle of Coral Sea? Right. They would have gone ahead. So this is historical invasion. fiction to some extent. Historical right? fiction. Right. Yeah, we give you historical fiction from the Japanese perspective. Um, it's fascinating because in the original, you didn't play on the offensive in Midway. You only played on the defensive when we gave you special missions on the Japanese side. Uh, you played it within the context of the different major battles. Uh, so it's not history, it's more Hollywood than history. Uh, but the uh, names and places, the context, some of the main objectives, like in the Lady mission, we get to sink the Musashi, which was sunk by Air, uh, U.S. Air uh, uh, during the Battle of Lady. Um, this one is, is, is definitely tied to history. It's the, it's the what if that could have happened. Um, and there we are. So we actually have a, a host of new features. So if people are used to Midway, they'll see a new interface. They'll definitely see the graphics have leveled up considerably since two years ago. Um, they'll see new island capture features. Uh, and that's it. That's kind of the setup. Okay. Now it's a, it's a fairly long demo. We can give you a short version. Uh, or we just, you, you'll be able to edit the piece? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, uh, are you filming or are we not filming? He is filming, yes. Oh, okay, great. 
Uh, why don't we go into the game? But the little red lights on. He must be doing something. Let's go in. So not right now. We're on the co we're on the coastline of, of Port Moresby. Uh, in your command is a task force. This is a Japanese heavy cruiser. Mm -hmm. uh, you also have two destroyers, and then you have a convoy of transport ships. No aircraft carriers. No, not no aircraft carriers in this in this battle. And these guys are carrying. These guys' target is this island here. Why don't we uh, go to the the Transport. island has no air defense. Island has radar and uh, artillery and, and uh, anti-aircraft. The U.S. fleet, I think we've surprised them. They're coming in from the port. We're going to launch our assault boats. So up U.S. Up, is in blue. U.S. in blue, Japanese in red. There's Let's, a little mini-map up in the corner. Absolutely. Let's go up in the air. Up in the air we have... Squad, we're gonna, we have a squadron of zeros. As you can see, you have complete control damage. of these zeros. All fighters, dive bombers, torpedo planes have cockpit views. This is a new feature for the for the game. What we found is a lot of flight gamers were attracted to our product, and we wanted to give them a fuller experience. Let's jump into the cockpit. It's a full view. We're offering you a, a arcade simi experience. These they're below, so we got to get these guys if you can. The torpedoes. Yeah, they're gonna put you out of commission real quick if you don't get them. So let's jump over to the Pete. AI will take over. Pete observation plane. Uh, sometimes we get a submarine, which we just did. So this guy's equipped with some depth charges. Yeah, we're going to hopefully interview a submariner who served on the Narwhal uh, during the war. We just follow, we're going to follow him down under the water. Drop the depth charge. Yeah, that's cool. So this might go under the water for us. Okay. So now what we've kind of set up is you have uh, sea, you have uh, destroyers, cruisers, transports, two squadron of planes up in the air. Let's go to the strategy map. So it, this is where you strategically command the battle. Uh, you can set waypoints, attack points. The red is the Japanese fleet. The bright red is uh, under your control. What do you see here? Black. Yeah, the dark. The darker red is the AI task force. Uh, you're in command of this task force here. Your okay. primary objective is to capture this radar station, capture this airfield, fight off the U.S. attack. Uh, you can do this in any number of ways. What we've chosen to do is break off our destroy and transport to take care of the radar station and then sweep these guys kind of in a northerly curve over to the airfield. We do that because we want to have our cruiser support any action that's happening here. Uh, the Norwal is, must be underneath here. Oh, he's right in here. So the Norwal is set to take out these guys, and we should pay attention to them. For the demo, I think we're going to skip it. Um, but. With this guy in the water, he's easily going to get our destroyer and transport. I can, I can take that destroyer and start attacking them. Well, let's just start attacking them there. Why don't we... You know, some of the new features for the Midway guys is we give them a lot of information. Show them the health units. You can just check out.